Hey viewers, welcome to another game of Schedule Pro Gamer. Once again, we are doing a StarCraft 2 1 vs 1 between SKMC as the Protoss in the left side of the map and Marine King as the Terran on the right side of the map. So um, yeah, we've been doing some Marine King games here. It seems that uh, he's a very, well, good player and his uh, replays get recommended a lot, which is excellent. Because um, it allows us to see some of his playstyle, obviously that last um, series of games doesn't really reveal much of his playstyle, but um, yeah, well, he is at least a good enough player to, uh, well, to mix it up a little. So hopefully a normal game this time. Uh, of course, I don't know this, um, so I don't watch how long the replays are, I don't... Uh, watch the replays in well beforehand and I don't know who's going to win or at what, at what point so um, yeah I basically do this all live and um, that makes it exciting for me as well as for you and yeah that's why I get uh, disappointed by um, bad or fast matches just as well as you do and um, yeah I still upload them because otherwise, well, it, it would feel unfair. So for some reason, we're currently at 60 FPS, even though my fraps is set to 30. I don't know why. Hmm. But uh, <laughs> yeah, hopefully it won't cause any trouble. But it's all good. It's all good for now. We are uh, building some pylons, building a gateway. And um, as you can see, two command centers only with a uh, supply depot here. So he's not really worried that there's anything coming out from the Protoss player. Really, uh, yeah, not caring at all about anything. So yeah, the barracks are finally going down. And of course, against the Protoss player, yeah, Protoss cannot really rush you because they need to build a pylon first, then a gateway, then the units, and the units come out one by one. So, yeah, there's no real rush from Protoss. Of course, you can still do a rush strategy with like four gates and then uh, building only zealots or something like that. But even that will take a while to build. And um, yeah, you have to build each zealot uh, one by one. And um, once he gets the warp gate research done, of course, he can um, warp them in all the way in the front, which is great, but it um, it's also, yeah, not really fast. So it's not, well, no, nothing compared to uh, Zerg strategies, which can actually, uh, well, pretty much kill you at four minutes or so. Anyhow, we are getting out of here. Maybe build a pylon, maybe not. And not build a pile. Okay, that's cool too. So we have an orbital command here, and we have an orbital command here. And those orbital commands are going to do very well in the resource department. So they're going to, uh, to make sure that there are a lot of resources coming in, especially minerals, of course. And the probe is going to go back to uh, harvest a little more minerals. And currently we are in the base with one stalker, one zealot against three marines. The three marines obviously cannot go up against an, a micro stalker, but um, he shouldn't really have any trouble, uh, well, resupp or supplying that with more marines. And indeed, he is building more marines. And those marines, once they group up to like seven or nine, uh, should be able to take out these um, these stalkers pretty easily. Of course, if we can build a bunker, this is not a bunker, but if we can build a bunker, that would actually uh, yeah, make it a little bit easier. Of course, bunkers are static, so you can't really um, uh, you can't defend with them. Oh, well, you can defend with them, but you have to build them first in that specific spot that you want to defend. So um, the command center is getting kind of low, so he needs to move out, but as I said, you should be able to uh, to at least hold them off a little bit. And um, he's going to micro against this zealot. And once the zealot dies, the stalkers no longer have vision. And so you see that um, he lost one uh, 
Marine there against one Zealot and all the Protoss did for all his hard work was take down half the command center but half the command center is not good enough you need to get it to red health for it to actually burn down and even then you can just repair it but repairing is kind of expensive compared to what you actually get for it come on bunker there you go good boy so yeah the stalkers are coming in but they have no vision over the high ground so um we're going to have to see what he's going to do with that because he uh, he can go of course for uh, for units that just run up the ramp like zealots. He can also go for medifex or something like that and um, get the vision that way or an observer, which would be even better because the observer is very hard to snipe because well you don't know where it is and you're going to have to scan and yeah. Even then, it's uh, well. The scan itself is uh, pretty expensive because you can use a mule instead. And he's just going to rush up the ramp here, and no marines in the bunker, which is kind of a shame because they could have done a really nice amount of damage. Of course, um, yeah, the bunker is going to go down right now, and uh, because he didn't have any marines in his bunker, he uh, kind of got to uh, just micro them away and get them all to safety instead of losing stuff and there goes the command center yeah he didn't repair it so um he lost it i did not expect the protoss player to be this aggressive but apparently neither did the the terran player here because um yeah he didn't really build anything to defend against that would be good if he uh, had those guys on doing something because I don't think they can repair this at all. So I don't think they can repair these uh, supply depots. And he is indeed going to lower them because they're not much of a, a hindrance anyway. 400 hit points is not enough to hold off this push. It is enough however to hold off the zealots for a little bit. And I don't know what's happening here but it seems that the game does not agree with my fraps. And um, yeah that's uh, very well said. Um, I have no clue what he's saying, but anyway. We uh, we do have the retreat now from our Protoss player. Protoss player who uh, has been doing a lot of damage with that uh, small army that he has. And which building is this? Oh, it's a new building. Okay. I was wondering. I, I don't see where, but... Uh, oh, here. Wow, it's selected all the way over there. Oh yeah, that is still in vision, technically. Huh. It is still on the screen if you look at this as the... Uh, well, the edges of the screen. Anyhow, um, <laughs> kind of crazy. Yeah, the Observer coming in right now. He's going to scout what the, the Terran player is planning to do against his... Um, against his, his Stalkers. And the answer is going to be Marauders. So Marauders are of course a very, uh, well, decent way to counter this. To counter the Stalkers at least. And we're going to have to see if that actually works out for him. So the uh, Pylon goes down. And is he going to leave? No, he's not going to leave a unit behind. He's just going to use his entire army here. And going to try to ferry them in here yeah thank you no chat please this is really annoying anyhow um yeah we have two fights going on one on the high ground one on the low ground the high ground seems to have been won by the protoss player and the low ground yeah the protoss player also dominated so um, he's going to have to run out. He has no army left. Uh, all of his marauders died except for one. And that one marauder is not going to do too much. His factory is going to go down to the blink stalkers. And all in all, he is not having a good time here. So uh, the Terran player definitely in some trouble. I don't know why he did that. He could have just let it burn down. But I guess he might as well use the blink while he has it. It's not a problem, it's not a problem. So, um, 
Yeah, new army out. So <laughs> the Terran player is kind of losing a lot of army. Um, you just lost, yeah, you can see double what the Protoss has lost. Uh, the, yeah, what the Protoss has lost. That, is, that was true. Huh. And um, that, that will probably sl show in this, yeah, six Marauders versus 11 Stalkers. And then we have Sentries and we have uh, Zealots. Well, here we have Marines and Medivacs. Yeah, this is not going to be a fair fight. Uh, the Protoss player well ahead in uh, in everything here, and he is going to be ahead in uh, in upgrades and units as well. So not only oh sorry technology I should say, not only the uh, number of units but also the type of units. Colossus coming out now, and for the Colossus he of course should have the no not those the Vikings out. And the Vikings are not produced yet because he has had to invest so much in all of this crap. His, uh, his normal um, army. And it is going to be really hard to come back from this. So there's still a pylon over here. He could actually technically warp in a whole bunch of units and then um, attack this or attack from this side. So the observer over here uh, somewhere. Oh, here it is. So it sees everything that's happening to barracks coming up. And we are going to snipe this. Oh, well, not snipe, but kill it very slowly. The observer is out, as you can see, um, or is uh, here. So another observer, and um, he has an observer here as well. So plenty of vision over what's happening. And his stalkers are moving out now. Uh, of course, the investment you have in um, uh, in in uh, observers is most of the time worth it, but sometimes if players invest too much in that, wow, huge army coming out. But if they invest too much in it, then it becomes not worth it, and it becomes uh, too much of an investment for the amount of uh, well things you get back, which is mainly vision, because observers don't do anything else really. And normally that's uh, that's exactly what they uh, what they're made for for giving vision, but not giving you vision for well, well not giving you a cheap solution to uh, winning the game, because if they were too cheap, then people would just spam them all game long and every game, and that would of course not be good, because then uh, yeah games from the Protoss perspective would be very easy. As you can see everything that the enemy is doing enemies would have to build uh, like ravens or something overseers to deal with them because um, yeah it's just hard to deal with otherwise so I wonder if he oh he now I now I know he saw it so uh, the whole army gets scouted here with the scan I guess he didn't get a good look at uh, at the army at all so, yeah, he of course sent out that uh, that scout to see the army, but then it got instantly killed. So he didn't get to uh, to see what killed it or well how many units were there. Great force fields, picking off all of those SCVs that were just yeah running in to uh, to take damage for the team. But the team was uh, held up, the team of marauders, and this is not going to be close at all. Yeah, it's kind of an unfair fight here with uh, the Protoss having all kinds of high tier units and the Terran player really not able to do anything. Um, he's trying though, he's trying, but uh, yeah, he's losing all units left and right and uh, yep, there you go, Marine King surrendering. So um, yeah, that was it, a little more exciting game this time, but it was over pretty much in the early game when he sniped his command center. Um, Terran player not enough defenses and uh, got overrun the first time, lost his command center, lost a bunch of units and then because the Protoss just kept building units but also upgraded his, uh, his economy and his technology, he uh, just came out ahead. So anyway, hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. GG!